Bjork. I don't know how to say hello in Icelandic or in Danish. Oh, hello mm -hmm. in Icelandic. Hi in Danish. <laughs> oh, wow. Very simple. I won't forget that in Copenhagen or record. And actually in Danish, when you say bye, it's just hi. Hi as well. No, it's just twice. Hi, hi. 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 Very easy. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Enjoying Portugal? You're steaming up. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after all these this hot stuff here on 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 the on the stage, it's warm. Did anybody take your fancy? My fancy? When you said hot stuff on stage? Oh no, no the the hotties they were performing on stage. I mean, yes, yes, warming up the the audience. But you were one of them in your sparkly gold shoes. I yes. absolutely love it. Oh my goodness! Can you see? Here, oh, they, they can only see the. There oh it is. yes! Ta -ta. We love it. We love the fashion tips. Ah, uh, we love it. We love them too. I was so excited to see you in Vienna because um, you were on the red carpet with your leopard print um, number, and it was so good because Maria Olafsson was just like completely over the moon that you'd come to kind of support her in Vienna. No, I, I mean I loved it. It was it, for me. It was great. I, it was five years since I'd been in the Eurovision Song Contest. We call it the Univers Eurovision World, Eurovision Land, and it was fantastic. Did you comfort her as well? Because she didn't make it. No, I mean, I, I, I came for her with her, mm -hmm. and but it's it's just always fun. It's always you know the, the nice uh, same people. You see the familiar faces. You get like ooh energetic, and um, uh, I, I think all of us artists go filled with new ideas you know creative energy back from there you know and you're Icelandic um, originally aren't you yeah, yeah, so yeah how yeah. did this story with Denmark come about uh, <laughs> that's actually it, it started in Belgrade in 2008 oh, okay we were partying we know how to do that you certainly know how to party mm -hmm. here we were in the Icelandic party and then there I met the writers or at least two of the, two of them, and we were just like wah, 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 wah. and they were like, oh, we have maybe we have some songs we will send you. I'm like, yeah, of course you do. And then a few months later, they send me a few songs, and one of them is someday, and um, yeah, the rest you know. The rest is history. Yeah. And does that song? I mean, it, it was part of your set list today, and it was yeah. very warmly received. Do you have slight sort of regrets that that didn't kind of scale through? No, I mean, I think it w went just as it was supposed to because uh, otherwise I wouldn't have Shun Shukwa. That's true. You know. And what a brilliant song that is. So, I mean, one gem leads to another. So, no, I think this was exactly how it... I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have stand, stood a chance against Rybak in, in Moscow anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> you never know, but I mean, there were very great songs in both years, I think. Yeah. And I mean. for our readers who don't know, I had lunch with Hera today and we were playing Eurovision Guess songs, Guess the Right song, yeah. and you put me to complete shame. Yeah, but that was because you told me that you don't, don't know any songs at, before 2000. True. So of course I just gave you It's the you price of you. <laughs> it's the yeah. price of you. <laughs> yeah, and experience, when experience meets youth, experience wins. <laughs> and you did win by a huge margin. Oh, Portugal is really excited to have you because this is the second time you've actually been here to yeah. perform. Yeah. And the reception that you get here is so warm and yeah. so lovely. I, it's amazing. It's it's really amazing, and and the, the fact that I'm here for the second time is just, it's great. Does it tempt you to kind of want to do Eurovision again? Always. I mean, this is the platform I love. I love the contest, everything about it. I mean, but it needs to be with the right, and it needs to be for all the right reasons. I don't want to just push it through just to go. You know, it needs to be with the right song, the the right atmosphere, everything, the right reason. And so, no, I mean, I would never say no to it if, if that feeling comes and I'm like, yes, this is now I do it again. But would you go for a pre-selection or would you hope to be internally picked? Uh, I mean, in, in Iceland, it's always a pre-selection. So you just need to go through that 
I don't know what you call it, uh, uh, wall of, of, of things. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I would try if, if, I, if I have the right song and I have the right story and everything feels right, I would try. I mean, and I might not get to the, through even the pre-selections. I mean, this is Eurovision, you never know. I think you will. Well, I mean, that would be fantastic because, of course, that's the goal to, to, to take it to the big stage and, and, you know, enjoy Eurovision land one more time. But, I mean, like I say, yeah, if, if, if it feels right, I'll, I'll try. And in terms of future music projects, have you got a new single coming out? Or? Everything now is, is um, in process of being planned. So we are, because I just came back from South America and so we're now... Chile, right? Yeah, yeah. I was there for... Santiago, it's my dream destination. Oh, it's a beautiful city. A beautiful city, you need to go there. It's a beautiful country altogether. It's long and it's just, every, every part of it is, is beautiful. Um, yeah, you, so, know, you must so have a lot of air miles. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I do. Uh, quite a few, but not like... It's not taking me, you know, around the world <laughs> free. No, 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 no. I'm not that. Uh, I, I usually forget those miles. Oh, you do? I do. So you're such a classy traveler. I know. I should don't. I, I should, you know, collect them better. But I will start from now. Yes. Now I have a plan of. Collecting. That's your motto for your yeah, New Year resolution. <laughs> Here at More air miles. <laughs> Portugal wants you so desperately, so I'm not going to keep you any longer. By the way, readers, she can party like there is no tomorrow. Experience, people, experience. Do you have a <laughs> message for the fabulous fans that keep following your work? Um, just uh, thank you for for following my work, and and I mean, if I. <laughs> If I do something fun and you like it, I would love for you to follow me more. I love stalkers, actually, and um, I do it myself. So let, let's give them all the information they need. What's the <laughs> yeah, Facebook? Yeah, yeah. Hera Björk. Instagram. Hera Björk Music. Twitter. Hera Björk. Yeah. Pinterest. Uh, oh. Snapchat. Oh, Hera Björk, all is Hera Björk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, w I have a plan. Of, I'm gonna have a new artist name. <laughs> no, don't, don't. We need. I will. No, please. Yes. There's and Bjork and there's Hera Bjork. <laughs> Eurovision News with Attitude, WeWeBlogs.com. We are, we have been speaking with the lovely Hera Bjork, and yeah, keep following her. In fact, stalk her. Yeah, do it, do it. It's been a pleasure. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.